Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me questions by putting comments in my previous videos where I've done several reviews of uh, Android and smart televisions, uh, apps, uh, settings, etc. And you've been asking me to post in the best apps that should be taking place in your smart television in 2018. So this is the beginning of 2018. And uh, if you don't have some of these must have apps, you are definitely lacking something. I'm not going to speak about one of the very common apps, Netflix, YouTube, etc. But I'm going to speak about the apps which you might not be aware of. Or maybe they are for some reason missing out on your television and you're missing out all the fun uh, through those apps. So uh, if you have any questions before I begin, I mean, just post in your comments. If you need any settings, uh, customization, how you install, download or uh, any any issues you are encountering with any of the apps just post in your comments like my video and subscribe to my channel so you remain updated uh, okay so let me make a start i would make a start with uview so uview is one of the apps that will give you a, a you you have the guides for your for for all the channels that you have that you have on your television right so, so you have itv player you have bbc news etc uh, it would have a collection of tv series for free uh, and you can you can watch it anytime you want. So just to give you an example, I'm into U U View. I'm going to looking into the popular series, and I would be able to watch any of that anytime I want. So I just click that. It says it's free. I click that again. Go into that, and now. So it's going into BBC Player. And it asked me whether I should I, I, you should have a TV license if you're in UK. If you're not in uh, UK, you can still play that. So I have a TV license and I go with that. And uh, this is how it plays. So it, boom, it's a HD quality. Whenever you want any episode of any uh, of any uh, series, you should be able to see that. All right. So uh, you can forward and do anything like that. Right. So I'll I'll come out of that because this is not I'm just going to concentrate on, but but I'll just show you another feature of UView. If you go to uh, Freeview, I'll just play the television channel. And if you see, I mean, the description here, it all comes through UView. And if you press the guide button of your television, or if you see, I mean, it gives you a description of all the, the what, what's going to be shown in uh, on, on the TV channels at what time. So Al Jazeera, BBC News. Let's see what's going to be on Channel 5. At 1.30 would be home away, neighbors at 2 o'clock, things like that. So it gives you complete. And this is for last, I mean, you see, it starts from the Friday the 19th, if you see at the top, and goes until 2nd of February, so it's for two weeks. So this is one app that will help you to find out what's going to be shown on which channel at what time, okay? Uh, uh, definitely a must-have in the list of apps that you should have. That's, so that's number one on my list. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Netflix you all know I mean you need to subscribe for that I'm not gonna speak about it it's uh, I mean it's 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 one of the most popular uh, apps you need to subscribe you need to pay and that is for TV series and uh, uh, for watching uh, latest movies as well I and mean, you need to have subscription for that I mean, I'm not going in detail for that let's let's move on I'm not talk, talking about YouTube but to use YouTube you should be signed in to customize uh, your preferences and your subscribe channels so better you subscribe. Uh, so better you sign in and watch whatever you are your uh, liked ones. Okay. So I'm not going to YouTube, but I'll go out and talk about BBC iPlayer. So this is another one of the apps that you should have on your television. Uh, any of the BBC channels, BBC One, BBC Two, anything you have. I mean, you need if you want, you can sign in or you can continue uh, without signing in. So I'll continue without signing in and here you see uh, this is a home screen but you can go into channels uh, and you can watch any uh, channel BBC one BBC two let's see what's there on BBC two I can watch it from the start any of the any of the series or episodes let me go to BBC news uh, you go to BBC news and it says if you want to wa watch it from the start that means this one has started at 11 o'clock and goes until three o uh, until one o'clock. So I'll say, okay, I'll, I'll watch it. Uh, whether I watch it live or whether, whether I should watch it from 11 o'clock, I'll watch it from the start. And this is how it looks. So it's starting. BBC News. Here it is. Okay. 
so that's that's BB, I mean ITV player app I have done a detailed review of this app and if you look into my channel you should be able to find it but the other channels are Parliament Alba if you are for kids uh, CBs and uh, see BBC one right so I'll, I'll just come out of it but it, it's, it's a very handy one you should have it and you should be able to see any episode it's not just live television but it's uh, I mean you can go and watch any any of the series uh, uh, that you have been that you like and you can watch at your own convenience so if you see there are categories here uh, within categories if you want to go into comedy documentaries these are the good ones there are some really good collection of documentaries here you can go and watch it here drama entertainment film reviews so it's all there so this is one app I would definitely recommend you should have on your television I'll just come out because I need to cover a lot and don't want to waste too much of time with that ITV player is uh, again similar to iPlayer but it's specific for ITV channels uh, so here you see it's just loading it takes its own time you can sign in if you want and it would know your customization details so I don't want to sign up uh, I'll just move out do you want to exit yeah I want to exit okay so that's one of them then I would tell you that you should have a VLC player on it so uh, if you want to watch uh, movies which are on your USB drive or on a shared drive on your laptop you, uh, on, the, on the same network your television is connected to you can have it there and watch it on your television so at the moment there is no uh, I don't have a laptop open but you should when you connect it uh, when you have a shared folder uh, on your laptop or your smart television or your uh, desktop you would see another uh, I mean uh, I'm an option here to look it into either internal memory or a local network when you go to local network there will be folders that are shared and you would be able to play your mp4 or uh, any uh, I mean uh, I, I, I can't remember what are the file formats uh, supported but it's a vast uh, I mean uh, uh, a majority of the uh, I mean the the I mean uh, the file formats would be supported here so VLC player is definitely for watching uh, movies or even photo photographs uh, you can put it on your USB drive and connect to your television and watch it so VLC player I've done a detailed review of it I won't go into too much detail uh, if, if you want to know how to use it settings and everything you can go uh, into my review uh, video and watch it there uh, next one is Disney Life. If you have got kids, you should definitely have uh, Disney Kids. Uh, it doesn't require a subscription, uh, but uh, you can log in to have your customization done. Right? So I don't want to log in. Let me log in okay, in that case just to show you up. But I'll do it. I need to do uh, I mean, uh, some settings. I don't want to go into that. Don't want to lose your time uh, on this video. I just want to make it very quick. So Disney Life, definitely most of the Disney uh, cartoons, your child would be able to uh, see that. Now next one is the Yup TV app. So Yup TV is for watching Asian televisions. I mean, you need to have subscription for that. It gives you seven day trial period. But then after that, you have a good selection of television channels that you can go and it's live streaming. Uh, live, you need to have a subscription. It costs around 100 pounds for any entire year. So it is still cheap. You can watch television channels, drama, drama channels, uh, not many of the sports channels are there, but it does have uh, two channels of its own, BBO and, and BBO UK, where they will show you 24 hours uh, live, uh, sorry, 24 hours uh, movies. So at the moment, it's showing the movies I mean. Okay. So, and you can see the uh, color, the selection of channels. I mean, it is most... I mean, most of the Asian channels are here. I mean, if you compare it to uh, what's being provided through Sky or through, B through BT or Talk Talk or Virgin, uh, I mean, the number of uh, channels uh, are really high. And it's all app-based. You don't need a set-top box. You need uh, don't need a separate remote control uh, to play those channels. And also, it does have uh, yep, catch-up TV, which has uh, which has. All the, uh, I mean, the see, I mean, all the uh, episodes of each of the series recorded for last ten days. So here you see on 25th of Jan what was played on Sony Television, 24th of Jan, and so on like that. So the only thing is it's not HD quality, but it's close to HD quality. So uh, I would say it's decent quality. I've been using it for last two years, and it has Yup Flix as well, which has a good selection of uh, Bollywood movies. So if you want to watch Bollywood movies, it has a good selection of that. Uh, I mean. 
uh, I mean, I've selected Hindi uh, uh, here, language here, but they are a Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam channel. Uh, sorry, a language uh, uh, as I mean, TV series and movies as well. Okay. Apart from that, Cody, Cody. For the, I won't go into detail, but I mean, if, if you want to watch uh, sports, movies, television series for free, uh, you should be using Cody. I have done detailed reviews of this app how to do the settings and everything I uh, won't go into detail but this is a must-have app on your television you should definitely have it look into my other uh, 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 videos for details right how to do the settings and also sports you should have a uh, Zim TV a uh, Zim add-on and Covenant you should show you uh, movies latest movie movies Bollywood and Hollywood uh, and TV series in here and HD quality and Exodus is also one of them so uh, let me see if I want to cover anything else here but I will do another I have done several detailed review uh, videos for each of these apps but BBC News BBC Sports and then Sky News these are one of some of the apps you should have at on, on your television as well if you are if you have subscription for Amazon Prime you should have Amazon video uh, YouTube yeah that's right and cine trailer is one of the apps that you should have if you want to watch uh, latest movie trailers in HD quality so here you see yeah so let's play one of them it's a bit slow that's the only thing I don't like in this uh, app, but it shows HD quality trailers here okay so we'll just come out so hopefully I've covered a good selection of uh, 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 apps that should definitely be part of your smart television. If you have any questions, post in your comments, like my video, subscribe to my channel and just let me know what else would you like me to cover in my next video and I'll be happy to do that. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.